magandang umaga po and doing another Filipino food experiment today. I really wonder how this Filipino food will taste. I know that Filipino food has many varieties but I have not yet seen the one that I'm going to try today. We'll use limang idlok. How to cut an onion. Please let me know in the comments how you would cut the onions. I don't know, in the Philippines maybe there's a different style. Usually what I will do is I take the knife and I just uh, cut the outer uh, peel. Uh, I know it's sayang but I just get rid of it and I'll, take, I'll use the, the part in the middle. Then I'll just slice it lengthwise so um, there's like thin slices you know that you can use. And if I need to make the onion smaller, I will just uh, chop it with two hands so that they get even more fine. You might have wondered what dish we are making. But we're using idlok, sibuyas, siling labuyo. Paminta. Bawan. Asukal. Can you believe this will become a special version of adobong idlok? If you really like adobong idlok like me, please make sure to hit the like button. Egg mixture goes in. Bango. It really smells great and I know you're still wondering why naman sir why not uh, use a boiled egg instead of a fried egg well that's the experiment we're gonna try and flip it over the purpose of this one is to make it like an omelette oh see it looks really crispy that's exactly what I want to achieve we're gonna use two spatulas See? It's nice and crispy on the bottom side. Mmm, smells so good. We're gonna flip it over one more time. There we go. Okay, it fell apart a little bit, but it should be okay. We're gonna put it on a plate. I'm sure this is already messed up. Now the interesting part, we're making a uh, sauce from vinegar and soy sauce. This is white vinegar mixed with a sweet soy sauce, okay? Approximately the same amounts, 50-50. We'll put the eggs in an airtight container. Oh, this smells so good. And now we're brushing the mixture of sweet soy sauce and white vinegar over the egg. Quite a bit. I'm gonna use quite a bit. It smells even better. I flipped over the egg, so I also do on the other side. Walang asin. This time no salt because the soy sauce is already very salty. Now we're gonna leave this overnight in the fridge. Okay, so I'm gonna close it so that the flavors can really penetrate. Makandang umaga po. It's very early, I'm still sleepy. Let's make some coffee. We have uh, leftover rice, so I'm gonna make some uh, sinanak. Here's a nice collagen soup that I made with chicken feet. Let's first make a salad, cucumber salad, okay? We're gonna make a very simple one. We'll cut these in slices. I remove this, uh, this part. Tiny slices, okay? We're gonna make the most simple dressing in the world. A little bit of black pepper, some sea salt. Tiny bit of white vinegar, some mayonnaise, done. Mm. 
Mm. So we're gonna make a nice scene in Nuk. Um, you asked me to show beautiful places in the Netherlands, okay? So don't go away later because we're gonna show you a really nice place in the Netherlands, okay? First we make scene in Nuk and we'll combine it with the cucumber salad and the egg adobong eatlook that we made. And there we go, our almusal. So this is a dobong eatlock. Let's try it. Mmm. Sarap. It's pretty. It's still early morning, but it's a beautiful weather today, and there's lots of people outside. And uh, behind me here is the market hall, but we're going to the other side. This looks beautiful. Wow, amazing. Especially today with the weather, it looks really nice. What do you think? These are the famous cube houses. Don't they look amazing? You can see the walls are slanting and the windows. It's really strange, right? A strange building. Now, when you go in there, it's actually, you know, the floor, of course, is straight, but the walls and the windows are slanting. So it's really strange and you feel kind of uh, dizzy, you know, inside. Now, let me know if you would like to live in these kind of houses and why. And also, let me know, of course, if you want to see other beautiful places in the Netherlands. So, these are the famous cube houses. Thank you so much for watching the Adobong Eat Look. And I'll see you next time with more Filipino food.